something. Hello viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, apologizing if I missed a video or two posting. I have a good reason. I was on vacation, and I will have videos of that vacation once I get everything edited together. I went to Las Vegas and had a blast. And I didn't get married. like. I'm getting married in this video, or at least my character is, to Camilla, and God, she looks gorgeous. There were many women who looked just as good as her out in Las Vegas. Um, but I'm not going to marry them. This next video is the Halted Stream Camp, and how to get through that so you can get some iron ore to do some crafting. And in doing some crafting, you can make some money to support your wife and family. So, with much ado about nothing, um, let's get to the Halted Stream Camp. The Halted Stream Camp is not too far from Whiterun. And it is the home to bandits who are transmuting iron to gold. Yes, the transmute spell is located here, and it's very handy. If you get a bunch of magic potions and a bunch of iron, you can turn it all into a bunch of gold and craft gold stuff and sell at a much higher price. You have to support a wife and family after all, and there are ways to get rich in Skyrim. You can just craft a bunch of iron daggers and sell them off, or you can just craft a bunch of golden um, jewelry and sell it off to um, the merchants who buy gold jewelry, stuff like that, and make money. It depends on how much work you want to put into things. But I digress. And Let's get on with this adventure here because you got to kill these bandits, get the iron, and get a lot of stuff. This guy, I'm going to take him down. Poof. And yeah, epic takedown. Unfortunately, there is no decapitation, so that's part of being a dual wielder or doing a critical hit. So I'm going to fast forward to the next bandit. There are some nice things around here. Do some tanning. Um, there is a treasure chest. That's right. I better not fast forward. I need to point out where the treasure chest is. Mammoth snout. That's good for something. No, nothing in the barrels. Um, let's see. Where is that treasure chest? You can chop some wood here if you want. And, yeah, the treasure chest is over by this area here. And wildflowers, always harvest stuff. No, nothing. Some potions. Oh, and bring a potion of strength with you. For some reason, the trap has been tripped. So, orcish arrows, gold, and miner's healing. Let's get on with this, uh, well... Let's go up here, and you can have some woodcutter axes. What's in the barrel? Salt piles are good. More salt piles. And if you ever run out of woodcutter axes, just come to Halted Stream Camp and grab about a dozen. Now let's get into the actual dungeon. I'm going to turn around and walk in. I'm going to make sure I have my bow ready. Because I like to snipe people. And let's enter this dungeon here. Halted Stream Camp. Now you'll come upon a trap. And a bad guy. If you can snipe him correctly. And you got to be sneaky about it. 
you can take him down with a couple arrows. There's the trap button to the left, and there's the guy mining. Bandit Outlaw, a couple shots. One, two, three. I may have to switch to the swords and fight them off. And there we go. And one of the things I've learned is you take the shield. Dual wielding for now is a little difficult and I'm going to switch to the shield to help protect my character. Now, in order to be real sneaky, I'm going to switch back to the Imperial Longbow, but I'm also going to use the Skyrim Forged Sword. It does more damage. Pickaxe you'll need. Now let's see, you got some Mammoth Snout and some Tusks and some stuff for Alchemy. Yeah, like I said, you always pick that stuff up. But now I'm going to be not going to mine the Iron Ore yet. I'm going to take all this stuff and then I'm going to be super sneaky here and open up this and I'm going to take down the leader and watch how I do this. See that little bone thing dangling? That would warn people that you have come. Now you shoot the leader and you run up to the top here and hide. If they don't chase you, you're lucky. And you can sneak back and shoot the leader multiple times. Now they haven't chased me, so I'm going to repeat sneaking and shooting at least for a few times until I kill the bandit chief. Okay, so far I've outsmarted the bandits, and this should be the last arrow that kills the chief. And then I can kill his two, um, how shall I say, accomplices. This guy is proven to be very durable, so this should be the last kill. Not exactly the most epic kill shot, but now I gotta run back up here and switch to shield and sword and possibly take down the bandit chief's accomplices 
if they chase me. But I'm guessing they will not chase me, and I will have to go and kill them uh, one on one. Quick save, quick save, or just plain save. And now to take on the accomplices. Now that was an epic takedown, and that is why I switched to a shield for now. As a dual wield at a low level, it's like being a mage at a low level. You have no real defensive uh, except your armor. And yeah, you wind up getting killed more often than not. And as I've stated before, there are exploits that I would use in order to level my character up. Right now, he's at level 11. Yeah, if I was doing this with all the exploits that I know about, he would be level 20-something and almost 100% unstoppable. You notice I took that one axe? It's called Poacher's Axe. If you... Um, Disenchant it, it raises your disenchantment or your enchantment skill, and guess what? You get the power of the poacher's axe, which is useless. It does plus three against animals. Now you have a dead mammoth here. What these guys were doing was poaching mammoths and smelting iron in order to make money. And let's see, I'm going to see if I got Conjuration. Nope. Uh, just my sight. And there is a chest back here. I got to get Candlelight. Get Candlelight. That is an awesome spell. It uses little magic, and it works wonders. And even with a novice lockpick, yeah, this sucks. Eh, nah, lesser gem, Nordic steel gauntlets. Anyway, um, now let's get back to the boss chest here and see what the boss man has. Let's see, he's got an iron shield, gold, steel armor. Yeah, I'm going to steal these. Orc arrow, warhammer of scorching, another thing I will disenchant. You got some books here, and this is the book, Transmute Metals. And read this one book. Now, transmute, once you have it, you can transmute iron into gold, etc. And pick everything up except the iron dagger off of this table. Search around for some iron ore and mine some iron ore. You can sleep in the bed if you want. Let's see what's here. Oh, banded iron sucks. Iron shield suck. Gold necklace. Armor that I can disenchant. I'm going to dump this iron shield because I'm going to go back and disenchant stuff. And yeah, I'm going to fast forward until I get to a certain point and I will explain to you how you can use a strength potion. Just fast forwarding through the searching and mining of iron, your character will be carrying way too much by the time he is done. All the tusks, everything. And you can drop the um, pickaxe once you're done mining. You don't need that. And now let's get out of here. If you're over encumbered, you cannot get to the fast travel ability. So you're going to have to lighten your load 
just a wee bit. And in order to do that, what you want to do is you want to come by a barrel and just dump off stuff you don't think you'll need. And that includes any crappy weapons, which you really don't have at this point. You want to keep the poacher's axe, the pickaxe you don't need. You drop that off. And then, yeah, you want to keep the poacher's axe. It's just another thing to disenchant. And, uh, yeah, I want to keep the Imperial Sword and the Skyforge Steel. Now, apparel, let's see. Gold necklace keep, iron armor keep. I can get rid of leather boots. I want to keep the steel armor and steel stuff. Uh, I want to keep all the potions. Food, mm, keep that. Yeah. Ingredients, keep that. Books, keep all these. They don't weigh much. In fact, I'll read the spell tombs, which drops down my weight and let's see how many how much garbage do i got that i don't need i uh, gotta get rid of the mammoth tusks maybe um let's see what potion draught of potion of strength uh increase by 20 so i gotta drop 18 points here and that is from my weight. So items, well, what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to raise my level up and increase my stamina and spend a perk point. Fist of Steel, no. Let's see. Uh, I need to get it to cushioned eventually, but that's a while away. Uh, what do I want to add my perk point to? My one-handed tree. I can't add anything. Yep, I can. I'm going to increase Armsman to do more damage with my one-handed weapons. And I got dual wield. Now, let's see how many points I have to get rid of. Item. Uh, I got to get rid of 13. So, what will I get rid of? Um, let's see. Apparel. Keep the steel armor. Mm. Let's see, weight wise, I gotta figure this out. I get rid of the Imperial Gauntlets. Uh yeah. Keep the Nordic Gauntlets. Yeah. It's that yep, yeah, got rid of them. Now I gotta get rid of five more. Who cares about steel cuffed boots? I'm down. I can raise my um strength up to what I need it to be using the potion and then I can fast travel and carry everything I need. Um, potion of strength, use that. Now I'm going to fast travel and I'm going to fast travel to Dragon's Reach. Why? Because then I can go and disenchant everything and reduce my weight even for further. Oh, I probably should have married Yzold. Look at how good she is. Yzolda, yeah. Mm, damn, she's good looking. Probably should have married her. As you can see, the character is walking very slowly because he is over encumbered. I'm going to take the potion of strength so he can run to the disenchantment or the arcane enchantment table thing and disenchant items. Now, you don't have to spend perk points on the enchanting tree because, you know, unless you're going to build your own weapons, you're going to wind up with. Um, spending perk points on something that is not valuable to you. And I usually do crafting of my own weapons because then I can get the dual enchantment on it. I'm going to make some alchemy stuff too. Again, you don't have to spend perk points, but making potions and enchanting if you are playing 
a character who you're not going to exploit the hell out of certain things. Yeah, just doing those gives you experience and raises your character pretty quickly. And all you got to do is pick stuff up off the ground and pick stuff off of plants. And you got plenty of things to craft. And if you craft the potions, you get experience. You disenchant items, you get experience. But those are just some advice from a guy who's played this game way too often. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to, please subscribe. You can hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you won't miss out. I usually post four videos a week and you'll be notified when they're posted. And of course, if I'm not posting them, it really doesn't matter. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for your patronage and thanks for stopping by.